I'm out at Pleasant Plains. Uh, we're taking a look in the pipeline at our corn that was uh, planted this season with uh, various different uh, planting uh, starter applications. And some of them were in furrow, some of them were uh, behind uh, on top of the ground. A lot of these that I'm, I'm gonna take a look at were in furrow at three gallon per acre, which is real easy for a lot of growers to carry that amount. And we've got a comparable of 1034-0, which is kind of the standard practice, um, has been for a lot of years. It's a great, great phosphorus supplying power product. But we've got some brand new experimentals. And as you can see, the experimental products, um, they're quite a bit taller, a better looking corn plant. And uh, we'll take these to yield and see what we get. Um, but one of the quick things I want to explain is the 1034-0, a lot of growers have had difficulty with that product because of its viscosity of not uh, going through their planter and their monitor. The uh, flow meters just can't handle it very well. It's too thick. Um, when we get into these newer products, they're very thin. Um, they've got some extra polymers added into them that really assist the uh, planter to handle the product just like it's water. And, it, and of course, if it, we can get additional growth and additional yield and it handles perfectly, that'll be very important in the future. So um, we're gonna take a look at this and we'll have a lot of great data come this fall as to which ones improve the yield the most and how um, they handled through our planter.